organic fertilizer for lawns and gardens. This is one of the strongest and best natural fertilizers. It can be found in nature or at home and serves various purposes in your lawn and garden. Learn about the different ways to obtain ash, how to measure it, when and how to apply it, and the benefits of using it as a multifunctional fertilizer. Out of a total of three fertilizations throughout the year, this is the most important for your lawn. From early winter to the beginning of spring is the ideal period for lawn fertilization, which is necessary for a beautiful lawn throughout the season. Until the end of winter is enough time for the roots of your grass to get all the necessary nutrients in the spring when the lawn wakes up. You won't get ashes from the cats, this is just Inky who hosted his girlfriend who will still be hungry. First, let's look at the ways of obtaining ash. These are three ways of obtaining ash, and each way contains different amounts of chemical elements. Ash can be obtained from various natural sources. One of them is the fallen leaves that we will find in the forest, park, or garden. Leaf ash contains more calcium, magnesium, and iron than the other two methods. The concentration of these elements increases as the leaf ages. These excellent ingredients help the most in your garden, especially calcium, which prevents tomatoes from rotting on the underside. New gardeners will understand this problem. Another way is ash from branches and roots. Fertilizing lawns in winter requires an increased content of potassium and phosphorus, and a low content of nitrogen. Potassium is a nutrient that grass requires in significant quantities because it is responsible for storing reserve substances. It improves the resistance and tolerance of plants to pathogens as well as to the stressful weather conditions that lawns and meadows are exposed to during the winter. Phosphorus strengthens the underground root system, and it is best in its natural form, which means ash from branches. The highest amount of phosphorus is found in fig leaves, as much as 56%. Number 3, Firewood Ash. One of the most common and simplest natural fertilizers used for lawns and gardens may not be suitable for every type of soil and plant. Although simple, it can present many surprises. In addition to being good as a fertilizer, wood ash reduces the acidity of the soil, which is not suitable for the growth of some plants. Do not put ash around acid-loving plants such as blueberries, strawberries, azaleas, watermelons, camellias, potatoes, or parsley. The plants that will love the ash treatment are tomatoes and cucumbers, followed by peppers, garlic, chives, leeks, lettuce, asparagus, and fruit trees such as stone fruits. Calcium carbonate encourages seedlings to grow the fastest, in some crops it shortens the ripening time. The flowers become bigger, the plants stronger. Plants do not always absorb fertilizer elements. Calcium silicate from ash helps this process. Let's see in more detail why this ash is useful for lawns and plants. When burning wood, nitrogen and sulfur are released in gaseous form, while calcium, potassium, magnesium and other trace elements remain in the ash. The carbonates and oxides left after burning help reduce soil acidity, and the ash also improves the structure of heavy clay soils by breaking up the soil and aiding aeration. This potassium-rich fertilizer helps regulate plant water balance and helps transport nutrients within the plant. Without potassium, vegetables can become more sensitive to drought, frost, diseases, and pests. Higher combustion temperatures cause more potassium loss and less ash production. Only ash from untreated natural firewood can be used for fertilization. If you still don't have or can't produce ash at home, you can easily order it via the link in the video description. Ash is a chemically very active substance. Any joint application with other fertilizers, whether manure or chemical, can produce unpredictable results. The necessary break between other fertilizers and ash is about three weeks. How much ash can we apply on the lawn and in the garden? For lawns, no more than 50 grams per square meter is recommended. I apply about 10 kilograms of ash to 200 square meters of my lawn. Excessive sprinkling of ash can lead to an overabundance of certain elements, especially iron, which can weaken the grass. Wood ash also prevents moss on lawns and aerates the soil. 
It takes time to soak into the soil and change its chemical composition, so apply it before the end of spring at the latest. Do not use other fertilizers rich in magnesium, iron, or calcium simultaneously to avoid excessive fertilization. It is recommended that you can use nitrogen and potassium organic fertilizer after wood ash. This should be added to lawns in early spring. The most favorable is chicken or horse pelleted manure. Water the lawn after sprinkling the ashes to be mixed with the soil. For garden soil and the best absorption, mix the ash with the soil, approximately at a depth of 10 cm after application. If you apply the ash on frozen ground or snow, the intake of nutrients will be somewhat lower. For proper storage, ashes should be kept in a dry room in a container that has a lid. This will ensure the ash retains its properties for up to 4 years. In the garden, you can add a maximum of 500 gram per square meter during one year, preferably on several occasions. Soil acidity is expressed by the pH reaction and can have a value of 0 to 14. All values below 6 are acidic and values above 8 are alkaline soils. If you're looking to understand the pH scale, things can get a little complicated and the tests can be quite expensive. Our simplified approach will help you grasp the concept of pH without breaking the bank. Here is a simplified way to determine if your garden or lawn needs ash or other types of fertilizers. This simple test will provide valuable insights that can significantly impact your garden and lawn throughout the season. Beginner gardeners often make the mistake of adding fertilizer without checking the lawn and garden, causing adverse effects. Take soil samples from the garden at a depth of about 10 cm. It is necessary to take two identical soil samples from each location. Pour 9% vinegar into one glass. In another glass, put 3 tablespoons of baking soda and pour some water. Mix one sample with vinegar 9% and the other with a mixture of baking soda. A mild or strong reaction tells us about the strength of alkalinity. If the soil reacts to the vinegar, it means that it is necessary to fertilize. If the soil does not react to vinegar, but reacts to baking soda, you should add wood ash. If there is no reaction to either baking soda or vinegar, it is a great sign that you have a great balance of your soil. You can do the same test on the lawn. The best pH values for a lawn are almost the same as for a garden. If you test the lawn on the surface, the values will be slightly higher at a depth of 10 cm. Water the test spot on the lawn with 10 liters of water after the test. The weed appears mostly on very acidic or very alkaline soil. Every crop harvest takes away calcium and large amounts of magnesium, so returning it to the soil is necessary. We raise the pH value with ash and calcium. We have calcium in its natural form in ash and eggshells. It takes time for calcium from eggshells to be absorbed and available in the soil, so it is best to grind eggshells in an old blender before application. When there are no or few crops in the garden, it is the best time to add calcium. Lowering the pH value is a somewhat more difficult and slower process. If you want to increase the acidity of the soil, you can do this by adding peat, for sawdust, pine needles, or add soil for rhododendrons. Let's look at the current pH values. In the garden. A little more organic fertilizer and calcium in the spring. pH outstanding, ash improved acidity. Flower garden a little more fertilizer in the spring. If you want to order this soil pH and fertility meter, I will leave a link in the video description. Great pH, don't need wood ash. In the lawn. Good pH, but needs a bit more wood ash in the spring. Fertility, in the spring I will add more organic pelleted manure that contains nitrogen. Test the soil to ensure a good balance between the pH lowering effects of manure and the pH raising effects of ash. In a greenhouse where conditions are controlled, excellent pH value and fertility. One last useful tip. 
To prepare your garden for the season, here is another method that will make it easier for you to fight against various insects in the garden and orchard. This beautiful bird, scientifically known as Paris Major, will be very useful in collecting various insects in the garden and orchard throughout the season. To attract them, hang a piece of lard and set up houses for them. Gardeners know its value as it will rid your orchard or garden of harmful caterpillars, worms, grubs, aphids, insects and spiders, especially while feeding the young. When birds find your yard as a winter food source, many will stay there all year, raise their young and protect your fruits and vegetables from all kinds of pests. Please know that your continued support is greatly appreciated and inspires me to create more content for you to enjoy. Thanks for watching.